What is up guys? This is Nick here from Everything Tech and welcome to this episode of the Gboard keyboard for iPhone. Basically, Google just dropped their keyboard on the scene today. And the reason that I'm making this video is because I love customization and customization is, you know, limited here on the iPhone, you know, so when we do get some customization going on, I have to go ahead and share this with you guys because it's something that I enjoy. So why not and share it? Now, I know in a week, everybody and their brother will know about this Gboard application and it'll be on everybody's phones, but we did one for the Microsoft Wordflow keyboard. And you could check that video out down below in the description or up in a card. But for this one, it's Google, so it probably has more features. Let's go into the Gboard app and you can see how to set it up. You tap to add new keyboard, tap Gboard, tap Gboard again, and turn on to allow full access here. So let's get started. Let's get started here on the iPhone. And you can see all you have to do is just go here to add new keyboard and locate the Gboard keyboard. Now, before you guys go ahead and use it, make sure that you go into there and you allow full access, which is going to allow for the features that are included within this application. So it tells you all the things that you, the permissions it wants from you, uh, credit card data and stuff like that. But pretty much any keyboard that you use, even the iOS one is collecting credit card data. So don't be worried about this. So hit allow. And then what we're going to do is we're going to go into, let's say a, a random text field. Just give me a second. Talk amongst yourselves. I'm going to find a random text field. Okay, here, we're on a random text field. And now you can see the Google keyboard is enabled. So it does look a little bit like the iPhone keyboard. Although I'd say it looks a little more closer than something like on the Galaxy S7. But you can see you do have the Google search right here. Google search. You have the Google search right there, which is pretty cool. So you got G State Warriors, weather, and restaurants near me. Also, there are some more features like swiping on the keyboard, which is pretty nice there. And there's some contextual stuff as well as some GIF animations here on the Google keyboard. So, uh, yeah, so you, to, to get into it, you double tap right there and that should go into it. Or you can just hold down and go into it right here. You also have settings here where you can go in and mess with the settings here on the keyboard. So let's go to got it. You can see you got keyboard settings, search settings, feedback, terms of service, pretty simple stuff, you know, nicely polished as always. But this isn't even available on Android. And I don't know why Google does this, but sometimes they like to release applications for iPhone and it's not even for their own baby Android operating system. So let's go into the app store and see what you guys want to search for. Now, obviously it's Gboard you search for, but um, let's go into Gboard just to see what we got here. And uh, let's see how many people downloaded it just for the hell of it. So let's go here. Let's go here. So you can see there's already a thousand downloads. So I would assume that's all the people that are on the cutting edge, the geeky people, the journalists, all those people checking things out. But basically you can see May 12, 2016 just dropped. So go check this out real quick. You got all these features here. Like we just showed those I didn't get to, but they got the gifts right there as well as some other things like this. Now this is pretty cool because it's gonna give you something kind of similar to Google Now on tap, but not quite the same. But pretty much I just wanted to share that keyboard with y'all and uh, go ahead and check out the download. I'll leave a link to this download down below in the description. Anyways, if you guys enjoyed this video, please be sure to leave a thumbs up down below. I know it was a little late, but I got a virus on my computer today. Got that sorted out and uh, got some spontaneous feeling to just make this video about you know this keyboard. So anyways, I will catch you all in the next episode. Be sure to be well. Oh yeah, and uh, if you have any keyboard suggestions or any thoughts about this, please be sure to comment down below. Like this video if you enjoyed it, and I will catch you all in the next episode. Peace.